Hey guys, if you are looking for fuel cards, please check out RTS. Their link is in the description. It is an affiliated link, so if you do sign up with them using my link and mentioning my name, I'll get a small kick out of it. Also, if you shop on Amazon anyways, please use my affiliated link down below. It's currently set up for this Under Armour shirt that I am wearing, but you can just click on that link and purchase anything you want. I will still get a small kick out of it. So thank you for your help in advance. Good morning, guys. I am picking up something very interested, interesting. Also, I am picking it up in a place that is super interesting. So if you look that way, at the end of this road, you see those fences that's a u.s and mexico border so this is as close as i have gotten to to the border if i go that way 200 feet or maybe 200 yards i would have, i would be in in mexico pretty much so i am picking up onions so i got here last night at 8 8 p.m or something and today is saturday so they said they are open on saturday from 8 to 12 so yay we're gonna get uh loaded i called called the broker last night and they had a pretty good deal on this load which was i think 5800 going 2100 miles so that was pretty good currently in el paso and waiting for that guy to get offloaded or to wake up but i walked around and it didn't look like he is uh he is up yet so i'm just waiting for those guys to show up and get loaded so this load is supposed to be tarp if you didn't know and they want me to leave the front flap and back flap open so the air could go in so what i'm gonna do i'm struggling with these bungees so i will go ahead and sort them out so uh, i still have 10 more minutes i, I don't know what's what is the good method to not have all these tackled together but uh, i always i was i always just throw them <laughs> throw them in there and whenever i have a top load i struggle to get them all sorted out so if you know any, any tips on how to get all these uh, organized please let me know I am almost ready for them to load me. Got the bungees all sorted out. Tarp is out and ready to go. I think they're gonna start loading from here all the way to the back. I may have a few feet, maybe a couple feet left in the backside because uh, that guy is getting offloaded and I saw him and I saw his trailer almost full, almost full. So I figured that I want to move the tarp so it doesn't get on their way. But I'm ready to go, we have a few more minutes. Yay! Tarping job is done. As I mentioned, the front flap is not closed because they want it ventilated, and also the back flap is not fully closed because they want it to ventilate it over here. So, man, it smells like onion over here. <laughs> as soon as I made the turn to come to this place, probably like a quarter of a mile, you could smell the uh, uh, onion. It's just crazy. I have few few rips on my tarp, but I, I don't think that matters that much because, as you can see, they had they they let me put the front flap open and the back flap open. That means they really do not care about uh, water as much as dirt and whatnot. So I think that's why they have had me had me put the tarp. But anyways, enough talking. Let's get on the road. I do need to wash my windshield. <laughs> it is super dirty.
returning somewhere from Oklahoma. This was my mansion ocean view or lake view last night. It was so beautiful. No noise whatsoever. I slept very good. One thing I realized when I woke up I went and I was doing my pre-trip. Look, look at the uh, ground. Uh, it's, it was good that I did not drive further in because then I, I guess I would have gotten stuck. You see all these uh, these tires, both of them are are, uh, are not stuck but they have gotten inside the dirt uh, too much. But anyway, as uh, I was doing my pre-trip this morning and it turns out one of my headlights is out and the incompetent Kenworth uh, parts salesman gave me the wrong head uh, the headlamp the the low beam is out so so he gave me something like this in an l-shaped but you're supposed to have something that is straight and this connection is not uh fitting correctly i think i can change i can put the uh switch for the high beams and put it over here and uh that way that way i, I can at least turn my low beam on so people won't won't get uh, pissed off. It's frustrating when you give them the VIN number and they still give you the <laughs> wrong parts. But anyways, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to my Lakeview mansion for tonight and uh, who knows where I'm gonna be sleeping tomorrow. <laughs> this is what I like. You, you sleep pretty much anywhere, anywhere you like and you don't have to purchase a $400,000 home to sleep by the lake. You can just pull next to the exit and sleep there all night long and wake up and not pay a dime. By the way, I completely apologize for that salesperson. This turns out to be the correct bulb because I thought this was the low beam and this was the high beam. So when I stopped yesterday, I opened this because my high beam wasn't on and I was trying to put this right here, which it didn't fit, but it turns out that uh, the low beam is on the left so the guy actually gave me the correct one i was the incompetent driver who does not know which one is high beam which one is low beam so uh, this is how easy it is to change a bulb just like that And sure enough, both my lights are working. I am compliant now. Let's hit the road. It is a bit wet out here. One thing this situation reminds me is that Yusuf, don't ever be so quick of judging. <laughs> Check and see whose fault it is and see what, if you have done anything wrong. So it looks like in this case, I was the person who judged it a little too fast. Good morning somewhere from Ohio. It is beautiful. It was a little foggy uh, 10 minutes earlier, but then it, it opened up. So not, now I could uh, drive without actually worrying about it. The load did very well. Uh, I didn't have to tighten it up much, except this one is a little loose. But other, other than that, uh, all the other straps are super tight. I did stop once and uh, tightened it up once uh, I guess three, three like 30 miles in and after that I never had to uh, tighten it up anymore and it just did well except these these straps that I crisscrossed I had to stop and uh, tighten it up a few times but other than that the load actually did very well I was a bit surprised I do need to start thinking of changing uh, at least this tire if not both of them but uh, 
other than that i am 400 miles away from my destination uh, i don't have to do any appointments because it said first come first shirt first serve just doing my pre-trip yeah it, it said it says first come first serve is, is going to a farm so uh, and i looked from the satellite it it looks like i have plenty spot to park and plus plenty spot to turn around and whatnot so everything looks good guys unfortunately i wanted to get there a little earlier maybe like around 10 or so but it looks like i'm not gonna be there because uh I had to wait for my clock to reset and it, obviously I couldn't drive until 6.15 and I have 6 more hours to go that means I can minimum get there at 12.15 uh, so but anyways we will get there sooner or later All right guys, just got offloaded. This will do for this video. If you watch this video until the end, please go ahead and do me a favor and put down in the comment section, what location did you watch this video from? Was it Mama's Basement, Arkansas? Or Baby Mama's Porch, Wisconsin? So <laughs> please go ahead and put it down. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.